Ontramatic presents HA7 push installation. This video will show the installation steps for the HA7 in a push arm application. Reference the quick start guide to ensure your application will work. Check the reveal is within the range of 0 to 5 and an eighth inches. Mark the center line of the hinge above the door. Determine the X dimension to locate the bottom of the back plate. The X dimension is from the bottom of the back plate to the bottom of the frame. Mark the X dimension for the back plate on the frame above the door. With the bottom of the back plate marked, see which Y dimension must be used. The Y dimension is from the bottom of the back plate to the center line of the arm. Once the Y dimension is determined, mark the two holes for the arm. The first is 11 and 5 16 from the center line of the hinge and the next is 13 and 1 16. Unplug and remove the operator from the back plate with the provided hex key. Hold the back plate so the groove lines up with the center line of the hinge. Line the bottom up with the X dimension. Make sure it is level and mark mounting holes. Use the appropriate hardware when mounting the back plate and arm. Drill the holes for the back plate and arm. Mount the back plate above the door with six pieces of appropriate hardware. Make sure the back plate is plumb. If necessary, use shims. The back plate must be electrically grounded. If necessary, use the ground wire. Remove the green ground screw and connect the closed side of the ground wire. Connect the other end of the wire to a conductive surface to ground the back plate. Both ends of the back plate have a place for optional mounting hardware. If using lock kick, the micro switch must be mounted on the operator. Shown are the lock kick components. The silver tab is for push and the black for pull. Mount the silver tab to the micro switch as shown. Mount the micro switch to the operator as shown. Shown is the recommended mounting location for the lock kick. Slide the micro switch accordingly if adjustments are needed. Remove the label and route the cable under the two clips. Make sure the cable is fully seated in the channel. On the operator, reference the arrow for opening rotation direction. Mount the operator using the recommended torque values in the manual.
install the top and bottom spindle covers. Insert the spindle adapter into the arm so the flat face on the adapter aligns with the flat face groove in the arm. Mount the arm 90 degrees to the panel using the washer, adapter, and bolt. Tighten the bolt to the recommended torque value in the manual. Remove the adjustment bolt from the arm. There are two arm choices depending on the depth of the reveal, the standard and the extended. Choose the arm for your application. Mount the other side of the arm to the panel. Slide the pieces of the arm together and loosely insert the adjustment screw. Pushing on the main side of the arm Bring the shoe side to 90 degrees and secure. Use the recommended torque value. Connect the lock kick if applicable, motor and encoder to the control. If lock kick is not being used, the jumper must remain in place. If using an electric lock, connect the positive and negative as shown. If using wave plates, wire as shown above. Black and white to ground, green to inner impulse, and red to plus 24 volts. Insert the power adapter into the box and plug it into the power port on the unit. Connect the wall plug into the outlet to power the unit. 
the light near the learn button will begin to blink. Optionally, an enclosed power supply can be installed. Mount the enclosure in a suitable location with the provided hardware. Unplug the cord from the power adapter. Remove the junction cover and wire clamp. Power must be removed from mains before making connections. Bring in power complying with the authority having jurisdiction and connect to the junction box. Replace the cover on the terminal and route power out to the control. Replace the power on the control with the power from the enclosure. Red to positive 24 volts and black to ground. Tighten the clamp to ensure the wires cannot be pulled. Reconnect the plug to the adapter. The light near the learn button will begin to blink. Open the swing door manager application. Select add door, then next. Select owner and create a six digit pin for the unit. Enter the pin again to confirm. Hold the learn button for four seconds. The light will go out when ready. When pairing has started, scan the QR code on the control. Once connected, click next and select push arm. If a lock is installed, select Yes, the voltage, and lock with or without power. If a lock is not installed, select No, and then initiate learn cycle. The light near the learn button will flash rapidly during the learn cycle. The operator will cycle slowly with two rapid movements to estimate door weight. Use a wall or floor stop to set the opening position during the learn. A stop is required to prevent over travel of the door. Click next, then test the door. The door will complete one full cycle. Click yes if successful, no to start over if it fails. Enter a name for the unit, and your name is the owner, then click Exit. Plug the mode selector into the control. Finish the installation with the cover, end caps, and label once operating.